Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, technically our next uh, quest line in our main mission would be the Hardcore. We would have to go talk to the Sinistro Core Recruiter in Midtown and the Nightclub. Uh, but before we do that, we can see that there is our friend Catwoman that has a side quest for us that is not really part of the main uh, mission quests. But we're still going to going to play that mission because, well, why not? The Joker requested you join up with him in Cape Carmine. Up for more ma'am. If I recall correctly, that might be the uh, the quest line that has us fight the evil Bane. Uh, we'll find out uh, soon enough. Uh, technically, we did not really need to play that mission. We can see punks and robbers. It's a level 9 mission. It's a mission we probably could have done some time ago. So let us travel to Cape Carmine. I'm surprised I thought our friend uh, the Joker would pop up and uh, give us some dialogue. Oh, I guess not. Uh, we do have a side mission here. Uh, let's play the side mission before. Dispatch, emergency. Uh, normally, depending on who your mentor is, you may have a mission here. So we need some cop badges, and as you saw, the mission will reward us this one replay one uh, source mark. It's not a lot, but it's uh, it's worth uh, playing that mission. Normally, once you reach level 30, you should have roughly uh, 80 source marks. And one of the things that helps you get those 80 source marks as you level up is playing those side missions. Hands up and weapons down. What I would suggest is that at some point, uh, even if you're doing, if, even if you're not done quite with your uh, your main mission, you could simply fly around uh, Gotham and Metropolis and try to find those uh, those side GCPD missions that you may not have Antonio, played uh, just yet. Former football player for the Gotham Knights, wanted in connection with four bank robberies. And also, it allows you to GCPD be able to pick up some uh, Carbomb, some investigations. Hired out to numerous overseas operations, trained in Europe. So it shouldn't be too difficult. You can see here the NPCs are level 5. So sadly, they're no match for the mighty Black Adam. Also, some people are calling him Shazadam. Ah, crazy people. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a... Uh, apparently, they, they purchased uh, the ad space for all the billboards in uh, Times Square. For the Black Adam movie, and it, it's it was a I saw a video, I could, so I can only imagine in uh, in live how awesome it must be. But it was a, it was pretty impressive, even just seeing it on video. I can already imagine uh, in live it must be it must be something. So we're almost there. Just one more patrolman. We'll bring you down. So it really has to be a patrolman, not just any any detectives. Right, there we go. So as you saw, it gave us one source mark. Uh, just for the fun of it, how many source marks do I have? I have uh, 32 source marks. I probably purchased, I uh, probably used up uh, some of them at some point. Uh, it happens. Uh, probably when uh, when I upgraded my artifact. Uh, yeah, if I recall, that's when I did use some of my source marks. So normally, if you don't spend uh, your source marks upgrading your artifacts or stuff like that, once you reach level 30, you should have roughly 80, 80 source marks. So, seeing our, char our character is level 28, uh, the enemies around here shouldn't really be a match. You've heard about Venom? It's... I think... Vicky Vale exclusive. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, is a widely used symbol of Bane's followers. I'll be 
sure to tell the boss what you did for me. I think to recall there's a side quest here somewhere, or could be misrem misremembering. And I guess not over here. Thanks. Mr. Falcone will hear about the favor you did for me. Oh, I guess we're done with the crates. Hurry up! This got the nothing to do with you. So we have to find either it is the strong man carrying the crates. So this is a part of the quest we need to do. Uh, sometimes it can be it can be challenging to get those uh, those big guys with the crates if there's other players uh, trying to complete the same mission. Here we seem to be pretty much on our own, but we still don't have the strong guy yet. It's so one of the convenient things of uh, being a flying uh, character. You just fly overhead and look for your objectives, and you can skip a whole bunch of ads. Oh. I thought I'd seen uh, one of the strongmen. I guess not. Uh, let's go back on the other side. Uh, there's one over here. Quick, get it to the leg. Oh, it worked. So we need two more. Not sure why. Oh, there's one. Not sure why they seem to be spawning so far away. So now we need just one more. Oh, here it is. You're not gonna get to this stuff. I've never ugh, tried venom myself. But I hear those mega steroids make you both big and crazy. Crazy enough to take over Falcone turf when the Joker's on their side, apparently. So we got a piece of shoulder gear. Uh, it was only worth. Uh, it was only good for the style. Well, when big strong men cry, it's just, <laughs> it's just so annoying. Can't they inject a spine to go with all that muscle? Now go find out where Bane's main distributors hold up and convince them to get out of the venom business for the good of his health. <laughs> so let us pick the side quest first. And then we'll be able to do all the quests at once. Distributor. Rip out the venom injectors from his street soldiers? No, that should loosen their tongues. <laughs> Ah, Joker is so mean. Vicky Vale on Playlock, the god of water. This image is used by many of Bane's more fluid fighters. Ah, that was quite a pun. So at this point, pretty much defeating any enemy, any enemy will progress uh, one of our quests. There should be a briefing or two. Oh, there it is. The sun is shining. Wake up with our fire and ice spiced iced coffee. It's always sunny at Sundollar. The sun is shining, but the ice is slippery. Let the bat show his face around here now. Ten extra brownie points to anyone who knows where that comes from. You're going down. Oh man, make it stop. I don't know anything. I swear. I smell combat. No more pain. Please. They don't tell me anything. Hey! This stuff's worth more than you, bro. 
So I guess we don't need any more hoopers. Uh, let's try to find some razors. Oh, I think. So let's get the razor. We probably could could get some into uh, the other part of the mission we're going to, but I like to get them all uh, before we go, we enter, just to be on the safe side. Oh, there it is. And before we enter the distribution center, we should have uh, another side quest we can pick up. Uh, you'll see there are the some uh, razors into happy. the distribution centers. Streets, got it? But again, uh, I like to play it safe. So see this was a razor. I assume if I hadn't completed the mission just yet, it would have counted towards that mission. And there is these uh, tanks here that we can uh, click on. They're not really part of a quest, but if we do click on them and uh, there's also some consoles we can activate, uh, we will get a feat, assuming we get all of them. A good trick is to break break everything. That way you're going to be uh, you're going to have better chances not to forget the tank uh, before uh, behind you. Uh, we seem to be done here. So you can see there's consoles like this one. And there's tanks like this one. It's very easy to forget a tank. Doesn't at the end of the day it doesn't really matter if you can forget one, you can always come back. But I usually try to get them all uh, as I go up. So we've been here before, so let us continue here. So again, at worst, if I forget one, I'll I'll just come back. So if you're an evil villain, you pick the tank uh, and bring them with you. Uh, if you're a hero, I think you destroy them. There's a slight uh, variation on the on the mission. But overall, it's it's more or less the same mission. Except in one case, you'll have uh, a Nightwing with you, and then the other case is uh, I think it's Killer Croc. It's been a while since I've been here, so, so here's another tank. And in case this is your first video, there are little treasure chests uh, in various maps like this one. So you have to break it open. It gives you a little reward. Once in a while, it's a reward you can actually use. And uh, yeah, assuming you cannot use the reward for whatever reasons, you can still sell it on the vendor. And there is a feat for breaking those little uh, treasure chests open. And the top feat is 1,000 treasure chests. So that's a lot of treasure chests. So whenever you see those treasure chests in a mission, don't hesitate, break them open. There's no reason not to. So if we take a quick look around. So there's items that kind of look like the tanks, but not really. Uh, let's see. Uh, when you have super strength, uh, you have to show it off a bit sometimes. I guess this is it for that so we'll again don't worry if somehow you forget one you can always come back 
And also you can always repeat uh, those missions. Uh, there are missions that you're going to repeat more than once, either to get some extra XP's, or maybe uh, there's a feat you missed and you're, you want to try to get it again. I'm gonna break you, chump. Just like Bane broke the bat. Oh no, poor Diego. Diego. Uh, sadly, Diego was no match for Killer Croc and that uh, evil Black Adam. Also known as uh, Shazadam by, by some crazy people. You got lucky, punk. That's all. So let's talk to Killer Croc. I hate Venom. And I hate Bane. The Falcons paying me to stop him out is just icing on the cake. You stick it to Bane, you're good by me. Adios, amigo. So again, there's those little consoles here. Oh, a few... A few tanks. So there's no really quest. There's no quest uh, quest counter to let you know how many tanks you need or if you missed one. And sometimes they're hiding uh, behind something else. Vicky Vale exclusive. Bane's recruiters often bear the image of Kamakshli, god of the hunt. Who oh, knows? I guess I forgot one. So we could decide to just leave and uh, come back some other time, or we can uh, backtrack a bit, and it's very, very easy to forget one. Ah, uh, we cannot break those crates. That is so sad. So if you like to destroy the uh, the environment, that's uh, a good that's uh, a good map to do that. I guess I forgot it really early on. Uh, sometimes you can start to be a, a bit uh, paranoid. Did I forget it? Did I... Oh, there it is. So if you steal all the canisters and activate all the consoles, it gives you a little feed. It's not a big deal, but uh, every little bit helps, as they say. And our friend Nix would be very sad if you don't get all the feats. And it's, it's, any, it's a feat easy enough to get, so there's no reason not to get it. So 
So let us complete our mission. Speaking of big and dumb, the Falconis have Killer Croc on their payroll. He hates Bane. This could get very interesting. We should have a side quest right here. Well, that should keep most of that bad old venom off the streets. Now I wonder what happens if you overdose on the stuff. Let's see if those venom injectors go to eleven. So again, we have a whole bunch of stuff. We have a whole bunch of uh, canisters to destroy. A whole bunch of NPCs to fight. The ghost is loose. And of course, at this point, we're more than a match for those guys. They are no match for the evil Black Adam. Early on, there are some enemies that might give you a hard time. I have to admit, it's sometimes uh, satisfying to be able to go back when you're a higher level and defeat uh, the enemies that gave you a hard time. It's something you can do in certain games. Uh, there are certain games where you cannot go back, but there are certain games where you can go back to the early missions where you, you used to play as a level 1. And when you go back in those missions when you're level 50, 100, 23, then you can get your revenge on uh, those who wronged you. Sort of. Vicky Vale reporting. Meshtli, god of war, is often worn by Bane's street forces. The idea of the Joker doing science experiments makes me very, very nauseous. But hey, at least now we know too much venom is bad. I could have sworn there was something else I was supposed to do. Ready to rumble? Bane's held up in the Cape Carmine lighthouse with the last of his venom. Use the entrance up top behind the light to get on in there and make the city safe for the Falcone's bribery and exploitation. And oh, um, Killer Croc's inside. Falcone is actually paying him to take out Bane when everyone knows he'd do it for free. So we got a headpiece of our friend uh, Black Adam, but it was only good for the style. So now let us go upstairs. But first, let's pick up the side quest here. My lighthouse is full of that disgusting venom. Just the smell makes me sick. Hey, clear it out and I'll make it worth your while. And also normally here, this is the place where you can get the Nightwing weapon, the, uh, the Eskrima stick, I think they're called. But in order to be able to get the escrow mistake, your character's weapon have to be the escrow mistake. Your character has to use dual wielding. So obviously, if you're not using dual dual wielding with your character, you will not get the escrow mistake in this mission. I'm uh, pretty sure there's a feat also for destroying all the canisters. We'll find out soon enough. You're on our turf now. Once I prove myself, then you me down totally. uh, Just let me give a quick look. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Been a while since I've been here, so... Wouldn't be very easy to forget something important. Uh, I guess not. So I guess we can continue. I usually follow the stairs even if I have a flying character. Like as a flyer, I could jump right to the end. But I kind of like to clear out uh, the whole thing. And a lot of the NPCs are in the stairs. So I usually take the stairs even if I don't really need to. Nah, you won't smash Black Adam. 
And sadly, as you can see, some abilities have no effect on uh, on objects. There are some abilities that do have an effect, but usually as a rule of thumb, I just use your weapons. I'm not sure I have a hard time targeting the poor little guy. So again, I could gently jump downstairs, but uh, let's clear out uh, the enemies in the stairs. Once I prove myself, they will give me venom too. Gave us a med medal. Oh, and there's a little uh, treasure chest. So again, the top feet. Oh, we got a pair of gloves. Oh, let's see if they might be worth uh, using. Nah. Sometimes they are, but uh, usually uh, not really. Oh, level 29. I'm taking you down. For Bane! Once I prove myself, Bane will give me Venom too. Surprised they didn't use a line that I love the smell of venom in the morning. Oh, we need one more canister. So give us a little cape and uh, some source mark. Uh, let's see if the cape is worth using. Would have been surprising, but uh, it was good for, uh, for uh, a style. You're on our turf now. So there are some enemies that will trigger as you move uh, forward. There is a feat for activating some consoles, but I think the feat is for the... There's a duo of this mission. Bane. Now let's pick this up first, and we'll talk to Killer Croc after. Vicky Vale exclusive. Ixley is. All right, let's do some old-fashioned face stomping. Drain Bane's venom when he's down. So we don't juice up again. I hear the stuff's gone tricky, so the less he gets, the better. Uh, let's grab a little barrel because we can. And uh, let's go inside. I'll mutilate every part of you. Ah, poor Bane. Oh, and we got lucky, we got the Bane Belt. So let's pick it up. So normally if you are a dual wielder, this is where you will get the option to get the Eskrimer Stick. Vicky Vale reporting. Zochipili is frequently depicted by street artists. But obviously, I'm not, so... It's not you gonna happen. Gonna be the big man for long, Bane. Shh. 
So let us skip this skip. <laughs> so much for Bane's entry in my gang war. I'll have to think of who to put in harm's way next. Uh, Two Face, Hush, perhaps even the Penguin. So many possibilities. Now run along and speak with Catwoman at the safe house, and we'll talk again soon. Ta ta. Uh, normally, I love watching those cinematics. But uh, I have a video called uh, This Universe Online The Movie where I show a whole bunch of those cinematics. So if you want to watch uh, cinematics, that is where you should go. So search in my videos, you'll, it's, easy, it's, a, it's a video that's easy enough to find. And now let us go back to Catwoman and uh, collect our reward. So we're a little past the level uh, 29. Oh, too used to playing as a hero character. Was going to the police uh, station. We have to go to the safe house because we're evil. So from what I hear, they are going to start filming uh, the Black Adam movie soon. Uh, sadly, it's uh, something we are going to see only uh, in 2022 at the earliest. It's sad, but uh, we're going to have uh, to be a bit patient before we see that film. that and you're not even on venom i'll remember to keep you on my short list so let's complete the mission so you see that little reward box if you were if we were using dual wield as a weapon this is where we could be able to choose the escrow mistake as a weapon and sadly since we use uh, brawling not really. But it will give us the Spike Cestus, so uh, why not? So I guess now we can go to the Midtown Nightclub. The sinister guy should be here somewhere. Oh, there he is. So next time we will talk to our friend uh, Recruiter Panupak. Uh, that quest line should be enough to bring us to level 30, I think. Um, I guess we'll find out uh, next time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.